So data regulations are really changing the norms for database security. Uh, we're seeing more and more the required need for privacy and governance. And with that is coming a new way of having to secure data. Uh, we have regulations like GDPR, which has a right to be forgotten. So now do we not only need to know where and what our data is, but we need to do it in a timely fashion so that if a order for right to be forgotten is done, we need to be able to actually execute on that and show proof of that. CCPA actually has a very similar one on do not sell my data. So we have to have, be able to know where, what, and be able to classify that data so that the regulations are being followed and it's really ultimately changing the way that we're doing database security. So we've been doing a greater job on patches. Uh, organizations and enterprises aren't waiting to have a patch cook anymore. They're actually deploying it as it's being delivered uh, so that we're seeing better, greater visibility on, on patching. Where we're seeing the problem most though still is with the excessive user permissions. Uh, either that being from inheritance, where I work for an organization, I keep going through and I get more and more rights and they're not being removed as I'm being moved to department to department. Or even worse, we're seeing where a user or a, a, of a customer leaves the company and then they still have access to their login, their permissions, privileges, to the databases, even upwards of two years from when they've left the company. So it's a huge thing there. Uh, another thing with the data regulations uh, is the integrity of the data itself. Uh, not only do we need to ensure that the data is secure, we have to make sure the integrity of the data is there so we can trust the data. Uh, and that is something that, that is being really looked at uh, hard in the data regulations now. So Exploration is a brand new GUI tool that we've debuted with DB Protect. What it allows us to do is change the way that people can use vulnerability management and activity monitoring tools. We're now not having to rely on log lines or massive reports to be able to visualize an attack. So we now have a tool that allows the integration to the SOC and security analysts to go into a vulnerability tool to see and pinpoint the threat of what is occurring, how is it occurring, who's doing the attack, and all within a touch of a button. So it allows us to very quickly find and target exploits and threats that are occurring so that they can be remediated faster.